Hi everyone, I'm Chloe with this week's Animal News. First up, let's take a look at our Animal Heroes of the Week, the Romeo and Juliet Dinosaurs. Nicknamed after William Shakespeare's most famous star-crossed couple, who tragically died in the name of love, the fossils of these two dinos were found buried together. Over 75 million years ago, the bird-like oviraptors used to have long feathers on the ends of their tails, even though they weren't able to fly. Did they survive a prehistoric family feud like the Montagues and Capulets of Shakespeare's play? Was their burning love frozen by the Ice Age? I hear Twilight author Stephanie Myers going to write The Love Before Time. Hopefully, minus the sparkles. Next is our bizarre animal of the week, the Japanese flying squid. While this might sound more like a Godzilla villain than a real animal, these critters are all too real. They have a special muscle that allows them to swallow water and spew it out, propelling themselves like a jet. With the additional aid of two fins, the Japanese flying squid can cover distances up to 30 meters above the surface of the water. Like other squids, they can also squirt ink for self-defense, and their blood beats through three hearts. 